Thanks for being back with us, Davis. It's great to have you. I uh, want to talk a little bit about exercise and pain today. So do you experience pain when you exercise? Uh, what type of pain and how do you manage it? This is a question we get frequently from our community. Well, and that's an interesting question because there's the pain that you can feel from a hard workout, which is a good kind of pain if you can push yourself that hard. But I, as, as to a pain of an injury or something, that's another issue. And I think that that's something that you have to address a, with a doctor or a physical therapist just to find out what your parameters are for working out or not. But that being said, like I get pain when I walk down hills because of my, my brain balance being off and having me leaning backwards the steeper the hill gets instead of leaning forward. And so that puts a lot of pressure on my sacrum and that creates a a very sore situation. But my exercise antidote to that is to do some yoga posture and loosen that whole sacrum up and try to free it because the, your vertebrae can become blocked and you want to, to get some motion in there. And so either by yoga or dance or or warming up for boxing, or some of the other processes that might be available to you. To you. The uh, act of exercise, exercising can keep you from actually injuring yourself more perm permanently. And also when I'm si sitting for long periods of time, time and slumping somewhat in the chair, that'll aggravate my sacrum to no end. And so it's important to be up and moving with regularity, just to keep yourself from being too frozen in one position. Right, and I know that you've been doing a lot of yoga daily. Uh, have you found that that's really been beneficial in sort of helping manage the pain? Yes. I mean, the yoga has been terrific. And we don't do it to excess. I mean, it's a manageable level, either 15 or up to 30 minutes of yoga postures, which I feel helped me expand myself and sort of counteract the whole drawing in aspect that Parkinson's imposes on you, as, as well as strengthening my core, the all important core that you always hear about. But that's very helpful, as well as, as giving my spine the flexibility, as I said, to sort of move the joints and, and get some pops and cracks in my back, which always feels really good. Yeah, and I think you, a great point. It doesn't have to be some 60, 90 minute session every day. I think people get overwhelmed sometimes because they think of their traditional yoga class and they're gonna be you know, doing it for a long time. And you, you've seen benefits from just 15 to maybe 30 minutes a day. Absolutely. And I think that being able to come up with a routine that you can sustain is the important aspect. So even if you're just doing a few minutes of stretching and opening things up, that's better than nothing. Right. And, and so again, as you point out, you don't need to have this laborious ordeal that you're confronted with thinking, oh, well, now I've got to do an hour's worth of yoga, for example. Right, before I can actually do the exercise that 
I'm trying to make it feel better for, and then you're hours and hours into it already. Yes, and, and that just, it becomes unsustainable. And the whole key to, to Parkinson's life, I feel like with using exercise as a healthy antidote to, to sort of mitigate your, your sim symptoms is, is being involved in something that you enjoy enough or you can see the advantage of enough that you keep going with it because we're all in this for the long haul. And so if you just, if you go whole hog into something like yoga and, and you're doing it for an hour a day, well, that may be sustainable, but it may not be. And two or three months later, you're tired of your same routine and you, and you just sort of let it slip a day here and a day there. And then pretty soon you're just not doing it anymore. And the most important thing is that you do something every day that involves motion or activity or action. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for that question. I know a lot of people are going to be tuning in to get your advice for it. So thanks, Davis. Thank you, Matt.